Hi there, my name is Sky, and today we're going to go through the basics of a NIFT workspace. A workspace is the highest order of organization within Nifty. Within our workspace, we have portfolios. In this case, I have development, general, and marketing. And within a portfolio are projects. Portfolios have two key functionalities. First, they allow us to group projects together that are relevant so we can report on them very easily. Secondly, by inviting someone to a portfolio, they get access to all of the projects within it. So it's a great way to handle access control on a high level. I'm currently using these portfolios as departments of my organization, but you might use them for cross-functional teams, account owners, specific clients, or another methodology. Next, let's discuss how we can get other people to join us in collaboration within Nifty. There are three places we can invite someone to our workspace. First is right here on the portfolio level. By entering an email here, they'll be invited to our workspace and to this portfolio. Of course, we've covered that once they're invited to the portfolio, they have access to all of the projects within it. But when they're a member of the workspace, they'll also have access to our direct messaging if you haven't enabled. Next, we can invite someone directly into a project. Here's where I would invite someone to join me in my workspace within this project. What that means is they join this project and my direct messaging, but they won't join the entirety of the portfolio. This is also where we can invite guests to project. Guests are external collaborators who are going to join us on just this project. It's commonly used for clients or freelancers. Lastly, we can invite someone directly into our workspace from our workspace settings. Here's where I would invite them. Don't forget you can distribute these invite links as well if you'd like to send a personalized email. This is also where we can manage the members of our workspace. There are four key roles within Nifty. First is the owner. There can only be one owner in a workspace. Next is the admin. Angie's our admin here, but we can have multiple admins. I can always drop down this change role to change what role I want someone to have within our workspace. And of course, then we have our team member. We can manage all the guests here as well, though let's remember that we need to invite them on the project level. If you have access to custom roles and permissions, you'll be able to see all of the different functionality between these different roles and even create your own. Our workspace settings are also where we can control security. So if I want to require Google SSO for our entire workspace or two-factor authentication to require a mobile device in order to log in, as well as our general settings, our workspace logo, workspace name, URL. And this is also where we can disable or enable our team chat. Now let's discuss creating a project. You can import projects if you're coming from another tool with this import right here. You can also import directly into a specific portfolio from this import in the top corner of the portfolio screen. When I go to create a new project, I can also import from a CSV, meaning if you are bringing a Excel file, if you've been managing things as a spreadsheet, you can still create a project directly from it right here in Nifty. Let's go through the anatomy of a project. By default, Nifty projects have six modules, dashboard, roadmap, tasks, discussions, docs, and files. These are all customizable, meaning you can enable or disable different modules on a per project basis. So you might have a project that's just a discussion channel or just a task board. They don't need to have every module. In fact, you can create your own custom modules based on public or share or embed links from other tools and experiences, meaning you can make your project much more than what we offer out of the box. Starting with dashboard, this is where we're going to see a big picture of what's going on across all the different modules within this project. I can add or remove widgets to see exactly what I want to see on this dashboard. I can even set this as the default view, so this is what others see when they log into this project. Our roadmap is where you'll find our milestones. Your project milestones are going to chart where you're going in this project. And when you complete the tasks within them, you'll see how close you are to getting there. 
whether you want to come in and create your own milestones from scratch and create your entire roadmap in advance or let Nifty create your roadmap for you with auto mode, this is where you can see where you're going in the project. And you can even share this as a public link to those outside of your workspace. So if they want to keep track of what you're working on without having Nifty credentials, they can. If our roadmap is where we're going in the project, our tasks are how we're going to get there. And tasks and statuses are the different phases of our tasks lifecycle. Tasks ending in this complete pile is what drives automation for our roadmap progress. There's also a lot of built-in collaboration in Nifty, like our discussions channel, which allows us to start Zoom or WebEx calls with a click of a button. We have our own built-in documents tool, as well as a two-way integration with Google Sheets, Docs, and Slides, as well as a file repository for all the files that come into the project. Be sure to check out the resource links in the bottom of this video to learn more about how to get your project started here in Nifty.